Begin by finding a position for your body that feels comfortable for you right now. Maybe it's seated in a chair or on a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. Or any other position that you like. Simply allow your body to become comfortable. And as you settle into this comfortable posture, notice if there's any enjoyment that comes from being comfortable in your body, from finding a comfortable position. If there is, even if it's small, allow yourself to enjoy that comfort. Having settled into this comfortable posture, briefly scan your body for any tension that might be present. Anywhere where your muscles are tight, tense. Notice those places in your body, perhaps in the jaw or the shoulders, the arms, the hips, the legs. If you find muscular tension anywhere in your body, notice that and gently invite that tension to relax, to loosen, to ease up. Allow your body to relax. And again, if there's any relief or enjoyment in relaxing your body and loosening the muscles that might be tight, notice that and really enjoy it. Enjoy being comfortable and relaxed in your body. And if you'd like, if it feels good for you, invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. It doesn't have to be a huge grin, just a gentle, easy smile. Gently inclining your body mind towards happiness. Again, if there's any enjoyment that comes from smiling, really savor that. Soak it up, even if it's small.
This is our home base for loving kindness practice. Being comfortable in the body and relaxed with a gentle, easy smile on our faces. Just take another moment to establish yourself here. And having prepared the body for loving kindness practice, begin to prepare the mind. Consider and reflect on things in your life that you can summon a sense of gratitude for, whatever it may be for you. Maybe it's having friends in your life or your hobbies or curiosities. Maybe it's that you enjoy your job or where you live. Be different for each person, but reflect on what it is in your life that you can summon a sense of gratitude for. And say these things in your mind. I'm grateful for the food that I had to eat today, or I'm grateful to have a place to sleep, or whatever it is for you. Say these things in your mind to cultivate this sense of gratitude. And as you say these sentences in your mind, if you notice any feelings in your body, any feelings of gratitude, notice those and once again, really enjoy them, even if they're small. Enjoy the feelings of gratitude. Continue to reflect on gratitude for another moment. Very good. Now, bring to mind someone in your life that's relatively easy for you to feel love for. Your easy to love person or animal. Consider someone like that for you and visualize them in your mind's eye. particular, imagine them being happy, perhaps smiling or laughing, 
or recalling a time where the two of you were happy together. Doesn't matter so much exactly what you imagine. The main thing is to cultivate an attitude of well-wishing, genuinely wanting this person to be happy. See this person in your mind's eye and imagine them being happy. Wish that for them. If it's helpful, you can use mental phrases in your mind, like, may you be happy, or I love you, or I care about you, or I want you to be so happy, or any phrase that you like, really. Whether you use mental talk or images, the important thing is to cultivate this attitude of well-wishing genuinely wanting this person to be happy. Again, if there's any response in the body, if you notice feelings of love or care or happiness as you wish this person well, notice those feelings and really enjoy them. Delight in them. When we savor the good feelings that arise, we encourage them to come often. And in fact, they often grow and deepen. So even if they're small, notice and enjoy these feelings of love and care. In a moment, we'll transition to the main technique. But if those feelings of love and care have arisen for you, there's no need to throw those away. In fact, we want to maintain them and grow them, even as we slightly adjust the technique. See if you can cultivate the same attitude of love and well-wishing for someone else in your life. friend or family member, coworker, 
someone you saw on the street today, anyone you like really. See if you can cultivate the same attitude of well-wishing, genuinely wanting someone else to be happy for someone else in your life. You can do this with images or phrases in your mind, or even both. You get to decide how to practice what resonates for you. Simply cultivate this same attitude of love and well-wishing for someone else in your life. If you're using images, visualize this person being happy, smiling or laughing or anything that you like really. If you're using phrases, you can say a phrase like, may you be happy or I love you or I care about you or anything else. Simply cultivate this attitude of well-wishing. Again, if any positive feelings arise in the body, feelings of love or care or happiness, notice those feelings and really enjoy them. Those feelings may or may not arise for you. It's no problem if they don't, but if they do, really savor them, soak them in. Very good. Now, see if you can, can cultivate the same attitude of well-wishing towards yourself. Perhaps by imagining yourself being happy or saying a phrase in your mind like, may I be happy or I love myself. 
See if you can extend the same intention to yourself, knowing that you also deserve love and happiness. Cultivate the same attitude of love and well-wishing for yourself. And as you'd like, return to cultivating the same attitude of love and well-wishing for another person in your life. It can be the same person you were working with previously or someone else. Simply cultivate an attitude of love and well-wishing for another. See if you can blur the lines between wishing another well and wishing yourself well, feeling the same feelings for yourself and others, just genuinely wanting someone to be happy, whoever it is. Direct love towards another.
at whatever rhythm you'd like, alternate between directing love to another person and to yourself. It could be every few minutes or even every few seconds. You get to decide what the rhythm is. Simply cultivate love for others and for yourself, switching back and forth at a rhythm that feels good for you. Cultivate this attitude of love and well-wishing. Direct it towards others and towards yourself. Know that everyone deserves love. That everyone deserves care. Whoever they may be. Very good. Now, take a moment to look back on this practice period. What was it like for you? What happened? Did you learn anything new? Did you face any challenges? Take a moment to consider and reflect.
And as you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. <laughs>